Are you looking for something soothing, fun, and you can use your creative imagination on? We have that for you, and I'll tell you in a minute. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm with Castle Toys and Games in Beaver and Oakmont, PA. We have all our new stuff today to show you from last week. Um, and the thing I was talking about was our new sensory bins from Creativity for Kids slash Faber Costell. These are really cool. They come with all these kind of cool things. Um, sand, it fosters imaginative play, develops creative storytelling, pro provides uh, fine motor skills, and best part for moms, it comes in this great self-storing bin. So everything is self-enclosed. And I know there's a lot of things like this out there on Pinterest, but a lot of moms I've seen don't want to go shopping for it. It's all here, all in a case. Everything's here. So this is this is just what you need. It, we have it in the dinosaur dig, outer space. I'll show you the picture of the outer space. I think see all three fronts. Outer space. Did you get the dinosaur? Outer space. Dinosaur. And for summer ice cream. I'm going to move this so you can see what comes in the ice cream. So sensory bins are great. Um, all the sensory fidgety toys have been very popular this season, the season of COVID. Um, another new thing from Creativity for Kids is this really cool space terrarium. And it does light up and become a nightlight. Things glow in the dark. It comes with everything you need to make it, and you can design it yourself. But the um, space terrarium is pretty cool, and you actually grow crystals to put in your space terrarium. Next up is we have a bubble machine. Last Easter, we did really well with the bubble machine that we had, but that one was discontinued, and they came out with this new bubble bubbles, um, bubble blaster. And so it comes with a little bit of bubbles, and... Bubbles are always pretty, pretty fun. What else do you have in Fubbles? We have uh, Easter bubble peep wands, Easter bunny peeps, refill, refill. Uh, we have a bubble mower and a no spill bubble container and a, and a large bubble bucket that's also non spill. So bubbles are pretty cool. Also, um, was talking about everything everything squishy and sensory and this sticky pug is pretty cool um, he's like our stick ball that, that a lot of people have gotten but he's a pug instead and this is not new but it's restocked and a lot of people have been asking for for the power poppers and we also got the refills for this so you just put them in and blast away they're soft softball so it doesn't doesn't hurt. We also got in a new coloring book called Cheerful Inspirations and uh, we do well with the adult coloring books but this one is pretty cool with uh, different different messages actually suitable for framing and then uh, we did get back in stock two of our new two of our favorite books our best-selling books Hello Neighbor with Mr. Rogers and actually, it's a very, very good story. And the funny dragons love tacos. All of my grandkids love this book. And it's a good seller in the store. So, so I recommend that one. Good graphics. Then for Easter, from Usborne, we got in their new Easter sticker book. And these sticker books are repositionable. The stickers are repositionable, not the books. They come with the pages that you can put stickers on, move stickers, and in the back is the pages with stickers that tells you what page you could use them on. And then from Mad Libs, we got two Easter Mad Libs. We got the traditional uh, Easter one from like middle school. And then we got this new uh, Mad Libs Junior Easter one that um, comes with stickers. But as you can see, um, much easier for a beginning English learner um, that new nouns, verbs, and things like that. It's bigger and easier 
and the stickers are in the back. The last thing I want to talk to you today about is our Ravensburger puzzle. Uh, the day after Christmas, I was ordering puzzles like crazy for you guys. And um, this past week, we got a lot of our larger piece count puzzles in. The ones I'm going to show you are brand new. Um, so this is a thousand piece Paris Impressions. And I just got a couple to show you, just a different couple of designs. This one's real pretty, um, Laura Keats. And a thousand pieces are our biggest seller, so there are a lot of a thousand piece puzzles that came in. This one is called Winged Things, and um, it's just beautiful. This one I want to show you. This is a 1500 count piece, piece count, I mean. And this one is called something origami, um, origami, origami Adventures. And it's, it's really beautiful, and the, um, the animals are replicas of what they would look like in origami and I wanted to show you this one because we do not have this image up yet you can you can order it online but the image is, is missing still and then one of their new author or illustrators made this one right um, during COVID last year it's called called Novel Avenue it's a 2,000 piece count and it did so well that they Came out with um, if a fish could swim from the new from the same uh, the uh, illustrator. This is novels. Whoops, I did it backwards. Sorry, guys. This one was Novel Avenues. This is the new one. If fish could swim, they also have walk. a couple of other fish ones. could walk. Ah, fish could walk. <laughs> oh my goodness! And so they have a couple of new puzzles with smaller piece counts from the same author as well. And then our biggest piece that we carry. A puzzle is a 3,000 piece and this is a new one called African Animal African Animal World and so this is a brand new one too and if you need higher than 3,000 piece count just let me know and we can work on getting that in for you so that's what we have for today and we will be back with you next Monday to show you what's new in the store and watch Jeff on Fridays for the um, game. Game of the week. Game of the week. Okay, thanks. Bye.